Senator Nazolio on the bill. Mr. President and my colleagues, as many of us do, I often speak to high school and junior high school classes, like the one visiting me today from Marion Central School in Wayne County. And they ask me, what should I study uh, to be involved in the political issues of the day? Should I study history? Should I study political science? How do I get involved in government? What should I do to focus my attention on participating in my government? Well, my suggestion to them is there are two subjects you should focus on. The first is English. The second is economics. And frankly, the rhetoric that I heard discussed today by the members of this House shows why my advice to those students is absolutely on the mark. I heard from Senator Kruger, Senator Connor, and my friend Senator Schneiderman discuss how they believe in their world the economists would oppose uh, us uh, in Senator Alonzo's tremendous attempt to eliminate the gas tax uh, in New York State for a short period of time. We heard those economists quoted about their concerns for global warming, the lack of a national energy policy, uh, the need uh, for uh, a reduced consumption of petroleum products worldwide. I say to those Nobel laureates, uh, you can give us all the advice you want, but the working people in Wayne County, the farmers who drive the tractors, the people who have to travel 12 miles, 14 miles round trip to get a loaf of bread or a quart of milk, the people who need to commute to their jobs in Rochester or Syracuse tailing a 60-mile-per-day-at-least commute to work. Those are the people who are going to be helped by this bill. And I do not care about the New York Times and their focus on how the economy of New York City is not going to be helped by this bill. Frankly, this bill helps the working people of upstate New York. And I thought Earlier this year, the issue of the day was how everyone was going to unite to help the upstate economy. Well, Senator Lanza certainly has helped the entire state's economy by this measure. This measure that will enhance many economic enterprise during the course of the suspension of the gasoline tax. It was mentioned the number one ag industry in New York State is agriculture. Agriculture has been devastated by the rising cost of petroleum products. The number two industry in New York State is tourism. And all of our regions that depend on tourism, and I represent most of the beautiful Finger Lakes region, that region is going to be significantly hurt if motorists are impeded to travel to the Finger Lakes, enjoying the great uh, sites and venues of the Finger Lakes, if the gas tax so is so if the gasoline costs are so oppressive. I congratulate Senator Lanza for his courage, uh, for his bringing this measure to the floor. Uh, I believe strongly that all the transactions that will not occur because of the oppressive cost of gasoline are going to be the real fiscal impact of us not doing this bill. In other words, the fiscal impact that Senator Lanza quoted is far, far smaller than the total fiscal impact of the rising costs of gasoline on our economy. We need to do all we possibly can, and Mr. President, that's why I strongly support this measure.